Hello friends, you are watching Clinical Guruji. I make video on education, technology, health, etc. In this video, I will tell something about MPC Lean Capsule. Before getting started, I want to tell please subscribe to my channel and I will make this type of video in future also. Let's get started. At first, we have to know what is MPC Lean. Actually, MPC Lean is penicillin. Now, what is penicillin? Penicillin was the first antibiotic developed and used clinically. It was discovered accidentally by Alexander Fleming. The source of penicillin is the high yielding penicillin chrysogenum. Now I will tell types of penicillins with their spectrum of activity. They are natural penicillins semi-synthetic penicillins natural pen penicillin includes penicillin G procaine penicillin G benzathine penicillin G and uh, semi-synthetic penicillins include uh, acid resistant penicillin phenoxymethyl penicillin that means penicillin B penicillin S resistant penicillin they are methicillin, oxacillin, cologxacillin, dicloxacillin and um, extended spectrum penicillins they, that means amino penicillins they are ampicillin, amoxicillins carboxypenicillins they are carbapenicillins, carbenicillins indenyl ticarcillin and uh, uridopenicillins they are Mesilocillin, piperacillins. Now comes to ampicillins. Ampicillins belongs to extended spectrum penicillins. It means they are amino penicillins. Ampicillins and amoxicillins are amino penicillins. Now I will tell the therapeutic uses of amino penicillins. The main uses are upper respiratory tract infection. Ampicillin and amoxicillin are effective for pharyngitis, sinusitis, otitis media, bronchitis, etc. caused by streptococcus pyrogenes, streptococcus pneumonia, and hemophilus influenza. It can be used as urinary tract infection. Fluoroquinolones are the preferred antimicrobial agents for urinary tract infection. Ampicillin can be used if organism is sensitive and it can be used as men in meningitis at present to third generation cephalosporins along with vancomycin are the drug of choice for treatment of meningitis caused by streptococcus pneumonia or Neisseria meningitis as the organism have developed resistance to ampicillin but ampicillin is very effective for meningitis due to Listeria monocytogens in immunocompromised patients. Hence, the combination of ampicillin, vancomycin, and third generation cephalosporin is the used for empirical therapy of bacterial meningitis. It can be used as bacillary dysentery. Fluoroquinolones are the drugs of choice. Some cases may respond to ampicillin, but may strains have developed resistance to it. It can be used in cervical bacterial endocarditis. Aminopilus penicillins in combination with zentamycin have been used for the treatment of cervical bacterial endocarditis. Amoxicillin is the most commonly used for prophylaxis of bacterial endocarditis. It can be used in typhoid fever. Fluoroquinolones or septraxone is the drug of choice for typhoid. Ampicillin, cotrimoxazole, or ciprofloxacin are useful for eradicating carrier stroke. Now I will tell about uh, adverse effects of amino penicillin and drug interaction. The adverse effects of ampicillin are similar to those of penicillin G, but skin rashes and diarrhea are more common. Drug interaction is Provence it competes with beta lactams that means penicillins and cephalosporins. 
for active tubular secretion and retards their excretion thereby increases the plasma concentration as well as the duration of action of beta lactams hence simultaneous administration of provenset and penicillin is useful in the treatment of bacterial endocarditis and gonococcal infections due to enhance the therapeutic efficacy of beta lactams thanks for watching friends don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon to get notification